there are two pillars you know that the court will usually look at in criminal cases before you ground a conviction the court will look at whether or not you have a guilty mind for your action and then the physical action in carrying out the um, thing that has either led to an injury or led to death or led to something against you know the victim so in latin you say okay it is the actus race and the mentor actus race the physical action you execute in carrying out a particular um, wrong while the mens rea is the guilty mind in doing that in this particular case can we really say that the actus i mean the mens rea was present that's a mental state of mind in this case can we really say that this man really intended to cause the death of his child well i think that it is not really present for me that's the way i see it and i tend to agree with other callers who have said you know i mean at least for manslaughter because what were the things he did yes he was negligent that's what we come to the aspect of criminal negligence he was really really negligent in not taking that child to the hospital uh, maybe he went home but he never even raised a substantial defense to say okay i went home to look for money or i was doing one he just kept the child in the room that is clear negligence but to say that he had the intention was there an autopsy conducted to find out this was the thing maybe he gave the child a dangerous substance or maybe he stabbed the child or did something to that child that caused the child's death these things were not uh, really examined it was just that all we saw was okay the child you know died so it's very very important that these things should have been carried out and he did not raise a strong defense as to that and if you reverse the um if you turn the table around to say if this child had died in the hands of the grandmother or the mother would you know such you know Accusations. issues have come up it most likely would not have come up so why is it that you know it is now you know for abu and besides he had also shown the intention that he wants to take care of the child only that he defaulted and he sent two thousand naira to show that he's committed to the process of making the child get well if in the event that he did not even send any money, he would say, okay, he already had a guilty mind. But for me, I do not really see a guilty mind or the intention to hurt that child or to kill the child or to murder the baby. Perhaps it was due to circumstance and negligence on his part to kill that child.